And good evening and welcome to the Chris Salcedo Show here on Newsmax TV. Many of you in this audience have likely had interactions with collectivist left-wingers. They're often hysterical, emotional, non-fact-based -fact creatures. When you ask them to defend their positions, they launch into personal attacks as a mechanism of discrediting you and then your questions. They also do this as a mechanism to avoid answering the uncomfortable questions that you've asked. This psychosis devolves from leftist fundamental belief that their worldview and opinion is the most important thing in the world. And by contrast, any opinion of those around them who disagree with them, well, it's not important. The fact is, the left is not full of great thinkers. They can't dial a phone to have a meaningful conversation on talk radio. Truthfully, only top of the line models have the ability to speak. So why are milk toast Republicans so hell-bent on giving these socialists the respect left-wingers refuse to give to others? Why is the GOP so afraid and intimidated by such low-brow and unsophisticated minds? Left-wing extremists deserve only what they give others, misery. It's a refresher course on real justice in tonight's preamble. As you all know, over 50 Texas socialists abandoned their posts and their own voters to hobnob with Biden, Harris, and Pelosi in the swamp, Washington, D.C. They abandoned Texas to prevent the passage of a voting integrity law that would, among other things, ban drive through voting or casting a ballot from inside a vehicle unless participating in a curbside voting that's due to a disability. It would ban overnight voting. It requires polls to be open a minimum of nine hours from six in the morning until nine o'clock in the evening, which expands voting hours in Texas over existing law. It mandates election officials install a video surveillance system so that vote counting activities can be observed and recorded by the public. It requires a live stream to the public in counties with 100,000 residents or more. It bans all voting machines with internet connectivity and it allows poll watchers from both political parties to observe the count, making it a crime to deny access to a poll watcher. All of these efforts aimed at transparency, aimed at making sure that every eligible voter has one vote. These are what have prompted socialists to pretend that a federal takeover of elections is what America needs. The good news is these socialists are so dim and so self-centered and so self-unaware that they are showing a watching world the kind of degenerates who now populate the Socialist Democrat Party. Take, for example, Socialist Texas non-representative Gene Wu. He tweeted out a picture of a Caesar salad, a Woca-Cola Zero, and his mask with the following words. My fist meal as a fugitive. Delicious. I think he meant to say first meal. These are the mental midgets that have Mitt Romney, Ben Sass, Lisa Murkowski, Fred Upton, Liz Cheney, and Adam Kissbutt quaking in their boots. Senior fellow at the Manhattan Institute, Brian Reitel, encapsulated the collective eye roll most Americans gave upon seeing Wu's self-absorbed tweet, writing, quote, The look at me narcissism and bravery on the cheap is so cringeworthy. You are elected officials ditching the state and refusing to go to work. That is all. Stop acting like you are civil rights activists courageously marching across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Grow up, end quote. Can I get an amen on that one? These socialists, they are like children, but they strike fear into the non-conservative GOP crowd. But the metrosexual Wu, he wasn't done. He posted a picture of himself in a nearly empty terminal saying, landed safely in DC, officially out of the arrest jurisdiction of Governor Abbott. It was wonderfully to randomly run into people who recognized me and applauded what we are doing, end quote. Again, another misspelling, but look at how this lazy legislator is enjoying his time in the swamp. Thankfully, this child got called out by a grown-up. Former DNI Rick Grinnell mused, look at these Texas Democrats. They love being recognized in Washington, D.C., rather than serving their constituents back home. And that's just it. When you're a socialist Democrat, you really don't care what the folks at home say. You only care about, or care about your personal goals and desires. Take, for example, socialist Texas State Senator James Tellerico. He jumped on Fox to admit that he opposes voter ID, an issue that has 80% support among American voters. After taking that absurd position, he was then asked to describe how his constituents don't have access to an ID in the year 2021. And this is how it all went down.
country. You just got to went on like national on television, television, James, every night and said and you don't want voter ID, revealing you, exactly what Democrats. And it's so condescending to say that people can't get identification. Do, you, have you, you have you found listen, someone you, in your district that can't get identification? You have made a lot of money personally, and you've enriched a lot of corporations <laughs> with advertising by getting on here and spewing <laughs> lies. <laughs> so instead of producing proof that his district is full of people who don't have IDs, Tellerico instead lashed out at Pete Hegseth, a man who served his country honorably in uniform. But did you notice? Tellerico never did have to prove his outrageous allegations that a significant number of Americans are going through life in 2021's America without an ID. But that's just it, kids. Socialists, with the help of the biased press, they never have to prove their wild accusations and justifications for crooked dealings. Why? Because the biased press takes everything liberals say as gospel. Case in point, Joe Biden. After hearing that Pennsylvania was launching an audit of the vote in 2020's election, Biden hightailed it over to Philly to decry voter integrity and transparency, equating those things to this. The assault on free and fair elections is just such a threat, literally. I've said it before. We're facing the most significant test of our democracy since the Civil War. That's not hyperbole. Since the Civil War. <laughs> that was dumb. You heard it right, though. Biden is comparing America's bloodiest war to the effort to ensure every eligible voter has one vote. He's also saying that those who want to make sure that Pennsylvania's alleged breaking of their election laws didn't impact the vote, Biden is saying that they're the big threat to America, when in reality, those demanding accountability are only a threat to Biden and his anti-American socialists. You see, you see what I mean? These people are not formidable. They are not articulate. They can't even answer a simple question. Why is the GOP so timid in the face of an obviously inferior ideology of collectivism. Perhaps it's the aforementioned biased press. You'd be surprised how much Mitt Romney and guys like Adam Kinsinger adore fawning coverage from the corrupt media. But these squishes might want to hedge their bets a little. The latest digital news report compiled by the Reuters Institute for the Study of Journalism has found that trust in the news industry in the United States is now at a low point compared against other countries. On average, 44% of people in 46 other countries trust their press. In Finland, 65% of their people trust their news. In America, it's at rock bottom. Only 29% of Americans trust the news. So let that be a lesson to all of you never Trump GOPers. When the elite left-wing press heaps praise on you, 71% of Americans think they're full of it. And 71% of Americans would be right most of the time. Might be worthwhile for you timid Republicans to find a value system that isn't deferential to communists. It might work out to the country's benefit down the road. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.